Hello, Roy. In a few minutes, we're going to meet at Covent Garden Market to celebrate your birthday. And uh, in the meantime, a birthday greeting has been sent through me to you from Australia, from Douglas Dow, my brother. And so I have an email here that I wish to read to you from Doug as he sends his greetings to you. Doug writes, um, All of the pictures that I'm sending I made over 50 years ago. I would estimate about 1958. The UWO image was made about midnight. Roy and I used to hang out there, which seemed appropriate for long philosophical discussions between people who couldn't afford more expensive clubs. In Roy's backyard, one afternoon, I spent banding baby screech owls, which had apparently come from a nest there. In the picture is Anne Houston, now Dow, Doug Larkins, Roy's mother, and Roy in the foreground. Here is a baby screech owl looking backwards. He writes to me, Our own mother was very fond of Roy and knew his parents. While I still lived at Brookside Street, Roy was a frequent visitor. I introduced him to the game of chess, and we used to play in the upstairs front room. I still recall the first time he won a game. I was most pleased to have a worthy opponent, and we played many a game around London after that. Whenever I visited Mum in later years, she always invited Roy over for dinner. She was a remarkable woman. I still miss her. And so, Roy, thus endeth the greetings from Australia. So I'll see you in a few more minutes in London at Covent Garden Market. Bye for now. Roy, this is a special day for you. Are you celebrating the Jubilee, is that right? Yeah, I'm just really happy with what they're doing in London, England now, yes. celebrating my birthday. It's really kind of them having, you know, an event on the Thames, an event on the, uh, all the, oh, it's just wonderful. Very nice. That they, you know. What else are you celebrating, celebrating today? Oh, uh, I'm turning 75, three quarters of a century old. That's, that's good, but you've lived in two centuries. One, two, that's right. Born in 37 during the Great Depression. And I, I still remember many of the events of the Second World War. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Roy McDonald's 75th birthday. My name's Jeremy Hobbs. Uh, I've lived in London just about all my life. And uh, this man right here, Roy McDonald, is one of the charitable staples of the city. Uh, he's, he's, he's integrated himself into London's culture just as much as uh, the trees that have rooted themselves into the ground themselves. So uh, you can't walk down Richmond Street at night without running into Roy and hearing a story or, uh, or uh, a song, usually Elvis. Um, he's pretty much... Uh, He's pretty much uh, just a part of this, as much a part of the city as, as the air that we breathe. So, he's, um, I think there should be a monument, a bronze statue of Roy uh, erected near um, uh, Jim Bob Ray's, Joe Cool's, uh, to commemorate this man's life for all of four city eternity. So, happy 75th birthday, Roy. Much love, and I'll be seeing you on Richmond. As the town crier in London, I've been very privileged to host Roy's 65th birthday, his 70th birthday, and his 50th birthday. And, and I'm, going, I'm already booked for his 80th, so I better stick around. Um, but uh, for his 50th, we had it at the Latin Quarter and a uh, fine old uh, restaurant and bar, and it was in the basement, and a uh, hundred of his closest friends were there, 50 of them holding big candles, and a candle for each year of his life. And uh, Roy, being asthmatic, decided it would be really clever to blow out each candle one at a time. So he went through the audience blowing out his 50 candles, and we said, Roy, you don't have to do this, you're getting mighty peaked. So on the 50th candle, uh, it looked like he was going to draw his last breath, but uh, he was very proud of the accomplishment. So it was great fun. That's a I've, good story. I've known Roy for uh, oh, close to 50 years now, and uh, he 
he's always looked like that, and he's always acted like that. I have no explanation. But Roy, you're a good friend. Uh, you're a sainted philosopher. I wouldn't know what to do without you at the Philosopher's at Cafe every month at the library. So keep on doing what you're doing, no matter what anybody tells you. Hi Roy, it's Mike Van Holst, just uh, hoping to wish you a happy 75th anniversary. Knowing you has been a scream. <laughs> well done. Have a great quarter century. Hello Carl. Hi, I'm Carl Herman. Uh, when I was a high school student in high school English, Mr. Shell's class banding years ago, he mentioned poet Roy McDonald. I've read a few poems by Roy. I'm not that much for reading poetry. But it's been a great pleasure meeting him uh, at, at Socrates Cafe and afterwards. It's been a great pleasure, and I hope he has a wonderful 75th birthday and many more to 120. My name's Charles. Charles is the name, and I first met Roy at the TF Center. My TF teacher, Richie, said, Charles, we're gonna go, let's go to a Hollywood movie downtown London. The China Syndrome. The China Syndrome is a, a fiction movie about a nuclear a hydro generating station, nuclear reactor that has a near meltdown. And did Roy cause this? Roy comes up and says, Do you want to go out for coffee? I believe Roy's mother was at the TM lecture. That's important too. Roy is a lover of his mother. He's an only child. And this is how you met Roy. Don Goodwill, and it was so long ago, neither Roy nor I remember how we met. And so we just hung about a bit in the early 60s. I'm Elizabeth Goldberg. I met Roy by approaching him at Chapters one night. I started talking to him because I had read an article in the magazine about him and I felt that I knew who he was. I had seen him around before that. And I must have talked for 10 or 15 minutes before he got a chance to say, Do I know you from somewhere? And I've noticed Roy keeps very careful track of who he's met, where he's met you, who you know in common. And I think the way I introduced myself is probably the best way to torment him that I could have thought of. And it was completely inadvertent. And uh, we've been friends ever since. I'm honored to call him a friend. Hi, my name is Jackie Spencer, and um, I met Roy in the early 80s at the casino restaurant, where many a day that I was there, we would have discussions, many people with him would discuss different things and different topics. And uh, then from there on, I always bumped into Roy wherever I went in downtown London. So I've been to, this is his second birthday uh, that I attended. And um, I wish Roy all the very best for the future, the coming years. Hi, I'm Barry Woody, and uh, I uh, came to Canada in 1965 from England, where I ran jazz clubs in Great Place. And I, I met Roy, bumped into him somewhere. You know, and he was one of those characters you bump into, you never forget him. Talks to you, he wants to know what your life is like and how you're doing. Um, now I see him regularly when he's busting outside. Us. <laughs> Joe Coons or someone like that, and um, I just see him around and talk to him. He's a very intelligent man, a very interesting man, and uh, he's one of the people that I kind of like to treasure. I'm actually older than him, but I actually treasure him. You know, as, as somebody that uh, you know, I you know he, he'll show up to things that you don't expect. All of a sudden, you say, "Oh, I heard about it. I, I came in. Uh, I saw his." which I thought was very interesting, the way they wrote about it. And he's one of those characters that we need characters like that. Coming from England, you were allowed to be eccentric, and nobody bothered you. <laughs> you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're not wearing the, the uniform, you, know, you get booted out of places because you don't want a character like you in here, mate. You're, you're frightened the natives. You know? But uh, as I say, I, I really enjoy his company, and, uh, and he, or Jackie, and I kind of uh, we met up around seven years ago. We got together seven years ago, six, seven years ago, 
out to my wife's house, and uh, we have been, uh, we've been sort of we see Roy and buy him a coffee and chat to him and listen to him and talk to him. And go thoroughly. It's it's kind of like you worry if you don't see. Him. It's a London landmark. And you start asking people, yeah, a movable landmark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for asking. Thank you. Hi, my name is Chief Cynthia, and I've actually met Roy off and on for years. Um, I've seen him walking down Richmond Avenue, and I've always said hi to him, and he's read numerous poetry, and uh, throughout the years, my numerous friends have actually seen Roy on the streets, and we've gathered around him, and he's told us numerous stories and read his stories, and he's walking by today, and I found out it was his 75th birthday, so I want to say happy birthday, Roy. Continue being an icon of London. All the best to you for another long, long time. Enjoy. Keep being you. Hi, I'm Layla. Roy and I have known each other for 20-odd years now. He's a great guy, very friendly, never forgets a name. Did you use so, the word happy odd? Happy birthday. <laughs> Did you use the word odd in connection with Roy? 20 odd years? Odd. <laughs> not, no, I'm not calling Roy odd. That's what you're getting at. Now you put me on the spot. Hi, yeah, I'm Dan Epps, and I played uh, all the nice people in Roy's life in the Playboy's Life Beard, so it was just a walk on. And, um, but, anyways, yeah, I, like I love this Thank guy. You. Thank you. Did I Thank sign you. it? Thank you. Okay, good. I did sign it. All right, good. You never know what I'm doing before. All right. Clint Eastwood? Clint Eastwood? Oh, that was, must be Tuesday. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come around behind you. Uh, I've known Roy now for about uh, eight years. Um, I met him when I was working head of security at the library, and I tried to put him out. <laughs> I found out that the event of a book came out next. Actually, one of the people that the book was being dedicated to. <laughs> so we've been friends ever since. He brought me a nice apple to follow it. It was so nice to him. He is just a good girl. I don't know any of his bad habits other than that. He just loves to give hugs and kisses. <laughs> Great. Oh, I know Roy. I know him for, for a while. Took no trouble. And uh, I don't know. Yes, I can't say that no boy. Well, like I said, I can't see how Ted he's on here. And I got his, his obscene birthday card. <laughs> Roy? Oh, I'm not, I'm not. Charlie's going to like this. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie's going to like this book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to get uh, three of them. Three beers. You know. I know. Three of us. The three of us together here. Right? I know. All right. Yeah. Put you in the middle. Okay. Yeah, the short guy in the middle. I got the short guy in the middle. <laughs> All right, cuddle up there. Oh, oh, oh gee, I bruise easily. <laughs> <laughs> Call him Bruce Lee. <laughs> I like that. Very good. Put this way up for that way. Make a Roy sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Brian McFarland. Yeah. My sister, I don't know when idea. she was here Henry in London e. last, uh, and, and I, to I told you she was at the top, you were at the top of the cafe, and I told, I'm, I'm uh, 63 now, and when I told her that you, that you were 12 years older, uh, Myself, she was she was flabbergasted. But she dated someone that was certain twelve years older than myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Lovely lady. Thank you. Lovely lady. Yes, we, yes. we maintained our friendship until she went away. Uh, right. Marie McCarthy. Yeah. Hi, my name is Adam Kaplan, and my history with Roy goes back uh, quite some time, actually, before I was born. Uh, Roy knew my aunt, my, my very favorite aunt, uh, Barb Novak. A beautiful uh, woman, by the way. Uh, a really lovely, beautiful soul. Uh, we met all this dearly. But uh, her spirit lives on to uh, her children, who also have met Roy. And not only have her children met Roy, but her children's uh, husbands have met Roy as well. And uh, we uh, are all delighted to have Roy as part of our extended family as well. His nieces are wonderful. I like him very much. Hi, uh, I'm Matt Thomas. Hi, Matt. And, um, uh, the one thing I can say that um, is wrong with Roy is that uh, 
Uh, he's too friendly. Uh, every time I, every, everywhere I see him, he's always saying hi. I don't. He doesn't remember my name actually. Maybe that's what it is. So, happy birthday! Yeah. Thank you. Happy birthday, Ryan. Yeah. Um, this, this gentleman does advertising work. Does uh, he was in the paper recently? I just forget which. I mean, I, I read all. I mean, I, and and a, and a good friend of Adam. So I, I, yeah. That's all. Just, uh, it's Jerry Aikens, and I live next door to Roy. I've been there now about three years. And uh, Roy's probably one of the quietest neighbors I've ever lived beside. He uh, comes and goes at different hours. Um, you never know. You couldn't set your clock by him. But he's a great neighbor, and um, I'm glad to live by him. Happy birthday, Roy. Many more. I'm Amy, I'm the daughter of Jerry, the neighbor, and we met Roy first time um, when my brother owned the house. It was three o'clock in the morning, we were having a campfire outside, and Roy was just coming home. <laughs> so that was our first encounter, and he was amazing and awesome and nice, and has been everything with that ever since we met him. And this is and Ethan. Is this, Ethan, do you know Roy? Yeah, you've met Roy before. And your brother Curtis, too. And your daddy. Can you say happy birthday to Roy? Say happy birthday, Roy. Can you say it to the say camera? Say it loud. Say it, buddy. No? Well, there you okay, go. Okay, well, happy birthday, Roy. This young lady is a wonderful actress. I just saw her in a place called Yay! Hey. And Kim, can you Kim. tell us a little bit about Roy? Roy, are you talking about Roy McDonald, that handsome, dashing man that you see walking up and down Richmond Street? Poetic, romantic. Is that the one? If you're a thespian, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. What can I say about Roy? Lovely, welcoming, energetic man. And that is on the oh. from that guy. Yeah. That's just for Roy. Yeah. Yeah. Just Happy birthday, Roy. Roy. You're beautiful. I'm Michael. And that's his scribe. That's his scribe on Roy. Uh, just a bit of. I was always a, always put a smile on my face when I would see him around before I was introduced. Um, we've had a few conversations, all of them enjoyable. I saw him today and he invited me and I thought I could pass it in. Very nice. I like in the play beer, Patsy Morgan. He wants to be oh. Like there's just this one little thing I like. <laughs> <laughs> there's too much to tell about Roy. This is Here. Yeah. <laughs> 75 years stories I can tell. And you can give her a My name is Kelly Kleinhans. Uh, my maiden name is Fitzgerald. I'm an alumni of South. And I was stop, uh, stopping to wish Roy a happy birthday and remind him of the reunion next year, which is May 24th to 26th, 2013. And it is South 85, actually I should say London South Collegiate Institute's 85th reunion. So we know that you'll be there next year. Yes. Box planning on being there as well. I was at the largest, the 20th, I was at the 50th, the 60th, and the 75th. Yeah. Yes. So I knew that you knew about it. And I knew uh, a guy named Sam Graham, yes. who was the first principal of South. Yes. He brought Banting to South. Uh, Sir Frederick Banting. Sir Frederick Banting was the best man at his wedding. Wow. No, that's not something that is. And how are you advertising this to South graduates in Australia? Um, well, we are searching for South graduates. Uh, we have a database that was uh, has been uh, growing since uh, being more being firmed up since the 75th and previous alumni uh, previous reunions. Roy, this is your birthday doggy. <laughs> Roy and I are both invited to a wedding of a friend of ours, P.J. Langdon, and he was getting married at 7 o'clock in the morning on Reservoir Hill. So after uh, the ceremony was over, P.J. said, I don't have a wedding car here. I said, I do. And uh, it was my 1976 Plymouth Polari station wagon. 
and he says, I wish we had some paper and markers so we could make just married signs on it. I said, I've got paper and signs, so we made just married signs. He says, I wish we had some tin cans and some strings so we could put that behind the car. I said, I have tin cans and strings, so we put that behind the car. And so I got in to drive, his beautiful bride got in the middle, PJ on the other side. PJ and I are both wearing top hats and tuxedos. Roy McDonald in the back seat. And we went underneath the uh, railroad viaducts downtown and went, wah, 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 wah. And PJ got on the loudspeaker system and said, hey, London, I just got married. And I said, PJ, shouldn't you be saying, we just got married? Oh yeah, we just got married. <laughs> so anyway, people were saying, oh, I need a ride. Uh, Roy said, I need a ride home. I said, I'll give you a ride home. So uh, he jumps in the car. So one bearded guy is driving with top hat, another bearded guy, no hat. So anyway, I neglected to take the signs off the car. So it still says, just married. <laughs> Two bearded guys in the car. And uh, this is in the early 80s. So uh, we were ahead of the time. So everybody's waving to us, we're waving to everybody. Hands rattling out the back of the car. And who do we have here? This is my favorite cousin, Julie Mc. She saw the play twice. You met Ashley. And who you haven't met is Bill Hi. My favorite cousin, Julie McDonald. A great Scottish name. She's my my uncle, my, my, my father, and her grandfather, her brother. So she's my first cousin, one straight move. But a lot of people think I'm the wrong father. <laughs> I just trimmed my beard this week, actually. You look good. So have you known Roy since childhood? Since I was 19. So for 20 years I've known Roy. Um, no, and we're both Gemini. This is Melissa. Hi, Melissa. You know me. Oh, yeah, I do. I drive you she around. Gives me your ride. She drives me around. Hi, Melissa. Around. She drives me around the bend. You haven't met me. I always drive everybody around the bend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever driven Roy around the bend? I drive Roy around the bend almost every night. <laughs> she takes me home. I mean, I'm the boss. <laughs> Sometimes. But you weren't supposed to tell him those other times. Oh, so the other, okay, yeah, yeah. I can give me trouble. We won't talk about that. <laughs> Jason Rip Bill. Hi, Jason. Jason Rip wrote the play about me. Beer? Oh, beer, yes. One of Canada's best playwrights. Really, really, uh, very talented. And a talented actor. So, Jason, I'm sure you know a lot about Roy then. Yes, I do. I know a thing Hi, I'm uh, Ray Fisher, um, he's a jazz DJ, and uh, I wish uh, Roy all the best. I've known him for, I don't know, 40 years or so, maybe longer. Great guy, I uh, wish him all the best. Uh, it's the uh, 75th Diamond Jubilee <laughs> anniversary birthday. Uh, good guy, really funny. And uh, I wish you all the best, Roy. So, Officer Costello, yes. you've known Roy for a while. A couple of years. How many times have you brought me in? There's an officer well, sitting. Yeah, I've, never, yeah, I've, never, I've never had anything but, uh, but good things to say and uh, do with Roy. Excellent. He's always got a nice perspective. <laughs> so, Bailey, what can you tell me about Roy McDonald? Roy's awesome. Uh, I've known Roy for a couple months, I guess, since Occupy started. Since October? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's like a good, like, what, six months, seven months? Yeah, that's, um, yeah, since Occupy started, I think. Um, yeah, and he's wonderful. It's wonderful to talk to. He has awesome stories, and, yeah. Are you done with Occupy? Oh, no, not at all. No, I, mentioned, <laughs> I mentioned that to Bill. I, I talked about that to Bill, but it's 
an ongoing thing. Oh, yeah. They're, act they're much more active than I am. And yeah. people, I get tired of people saying that young people don't care, they're apathetic, they're, they're not. These, these, these people are so... Charlie, Charlie, tone down. <laughs> Bob Hughes and my friend Roy. I've known, I've known Roy, I think, for... Uh, for uh, almost 40, 50, 50 years ever since I came to London in 1970. And uh, I think uh, I might have met him on the street and he, or through friends. He has a lot of friends. He got friends yes, he does. In, uh, at, in all walks of life. And so uh, it was, uh, he introduced me to a colleague of mine, I think, and, and then, uh, then we, we well, met often on the streets in, um, uh, and then uh, festivals, huh. especially Rock folk festivals Rock and Sunfest. Yes. And uh, then, uh, and he's on YouTube, so I went to check out his background. Mm -hmm. He's always been interested in folk. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're interested in music, I understand? The multicultural music, especially. So that's how I come to them for if you know Roy. And last night, by accident, on the street, I bumped into him. And he said today was his 75th birthday, and I've been going to call him. We have a mutual friend where we might end up in my class. Get together with some. Uh, and they literally had to check the form. And Julie was here earlier. And Julie is here. Hi, I'm Mr. Casman. Is Julie involved in music? No, she's a lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. A law clerk. And, uh, but uh, she's interesting. Art. The second cousin removed of Roy. That's the how he yes. right. Thank you very much, Bob. Uh, thank you. you By Roland? Yeah. He, he played drums. Yeah. He, well, he taught drums. He's an expert drummer. Yeah. I just thought you'd like to be. Uh, we've had some talks here briefly. You don't meet many. The party players are rare. Uh, yeah, it's also the electronic instruments. Oh yes, the with the, 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 the accordion that has been modified. For, for, yeah, for it, it's and, uh, the glass covered while I go through it. Well, can you it sounds tell like a, it sounds like an organ, or you make it sound like a saxophone. Yes, yeah, it's. But I'm, I'm Joel Adams, a downtown resident, lifelong Londoner, uh, and a friend friend of Roy's for many years. And uh, very, very pleased to be here for his 75th uh, birthday. I've been here for his 70th, and uh, I'd probably crossed him a couple others as well. And, and Joel, you're both invited, invited for my 80th, by the way. I want you to know. Thank you. Fantastic. And right there. Joel, can you give us an anecdote about Roy? Uh, what's <laughs> Well, that's difficult. There's so many anecdotes about Roy. Uh, I mean, certainly one of the best things. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Just just the last time I saw Roy, just a few weeks ago. You know, you know, I know certainly about. Uh, uh, you know, grew up in Old South. You know, so I used to go to the same McDonald's that he immortalized in his uh, his book Living, and uh, and I was uh, I was driving past. I was picking up uh, some fast food for somebody. And I was thinking, I wonder if Roy still comes here, because I hadn't made it out to that for a long time. I usually see Roy in the downtown or at different events. And, uh, you know, does he still come out to the, the old haunt that he immortalized? And, of course, as I pull into the drive-thru, I look through the window, and who's standing there on the counter? Roy McDonald ordering, uh, you know, a coffee and something to eat. So I quickly parked and ordered my food inside and, uh, and sat down and had a, a chat with Roy for a good 20 minutes or so. And do you normally do a lot of stocking? Uh, I do what I can, but uh, you know, Roy's, Roy's everywhere and, and and seemingly nowhere sometimes. So you don't see him for months, and then suddenly you see him every day for uh, for two months in a row. Which is Thanks very much, Joel. Uh, thank you. Hello, my name is Adam Corrigan Hollowitz, and um, I'm a friend of Roy's for our. A couple of years now, uh, Roy was very kind last year to allow us to be the, um, I run the El Vigo Theatre Company, and he was very kind to allow us to um, present the remount of his play, Beard, A Few Moments in the Life of Roy McDonald by Jason Rip, but of course based on Roy's life and influence of Roy's poetry. 
So that's my biggest connection to Roy, but I've known him for quite some time. He always reads out my story nights, and he's really a wonderful person to have around. And tell us about your story nights. Um, our story nights are our yearly fundraiser for El Vigo Route, and um, Roy came the first year in red, and he's been a recurring visitor um, ever since. Um, my name is Teresa Corrigan. I'm Adam's mom, and uh, I've known Roy for a lot of years, and I've really enjoyed getting to know him recently um, as he was helping Adam with the play uh, Beer at the Arts Project this last fall. So, and uh, really enjoy knowing him. So, thank you. I'm Roy number two. Uh, Roy McDonald being Roy number one. And I've not known him for very long. Socrates Cafe and the discussions yeah. with him afterwards in the uh, cafe across the road. Uh, and now I'm happy to come here today and, and wish him a happy birthday. I feel very privileged to know someone like him. And uh, thank you for the opportunity. Hi there, I'm Steve Hollowitz and uh, pleased to be celebrating Roy's birthday here at Covent Garden. I arrived in London in 1983 and it seems like I've seen Roy almost weekly since then, but only got to really know him in the last couple of years while working on the play that Jason Rip had wrote about him. Roy's been incredibly supportive to our son Adam who directed the play Beard and he's just a, a great figure here in London, Ontario. So I'm privileged to know him and so glad for all he does in London. Bill, I'm James Stewart Rainey. I've known Roy for probably, I'm guessing it's probably certainly well over 40 years. Um, it's great to see him. He's introduced me to some friends of his from the Occupy London movement and I sense that maybe with those people Roy found kindred spirits where he sometimes was a village, an occupying village of one. He's now got many friends. Of course, he's had friends I gather here all day long in his 75th. I look forward to returning and I'm trying to calculate I think Roy's 150th will possibly be in, in my math, which is always a little shaky, in 2086, or 2087, it'll be in 2087, so I hope we, we will all gather in 2087, which I think will be Roy's 150th, although my math is always a little shaky. We salute Roy, Ubu Roy, King Roy, thank you very much. My name is Linda Brexton and I'm happy to be here at Roy's 75th birthday. I've known Roy for about uh, 30 or more years and my husband and I published his books through Ergo Productions here in London and uh, they were very good sellers and he was a very good salesman during that time so it was a treat for us and uh, Wynn met him when he, my husband met him when he was at university so he knew him for quite some time as well. Hi there, uh, my name's Oliver, and uh, I've known Roy for only a little while now. However, my time knowing him, uh, he's, uh, he's honestly been a very inspiring individual. Like, through uh, seeing his play, I honestly got the feeling I got to know a little bit more part of him. In all honesty, I'd love to sit down with him more and uh, talk with him. In all honesty, he only seems to be filled with wisdom, and honestly, I'm an empty vessel. My name is Carolyn, and I've known Roy since I was a little kid when I first met him, walking down Richmond Row holding my parents' hands, and since then we've been Socrates Cafe together and had a lot of really interesting dialogue over the years. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Wow. Very nice, thank you. My name is James Shelley. I uh, moved to London about eight years ago, and shortly after I arrived, I, I kept noticing this this guy all over downtown. And uh, so, so one night I was walking home from work, and I was passing by Starbucks, and I saw him just sitting there. He was reading a paper. So I thought, I, I'm just curious. I want to know who this guy is. So I walked in and introduced myself, and, and that was my first meeting with Roy. We sat and chatted in Starbucks for like an hour and a half. I can't remember what we talked about, but it was probably about everything. And uh, yeah, and ever since then, uh, it's, it's been great to know someone who's just so much a part of the heartbeat of the city and, and, and just always fun to run into them, connect and see how things are going. Richard Gibbons, I live in London. Uh, I met university educators in different cities and I came to London uh, 22 years ago from Brampton, but that wasn't the only city in southern Ontario I lived in. 
so I met Roy and I heard about him, uh, that, that the philosopher of Rich Monroe, and uh, he was very well educated, he was very progressive, uh, a lot of people say in his views, he was very liberal and, and libertarian, and uh, he, he uh, and of course I, 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 I got a hold of his poetry, which I read, and then I read his life story, which is quite interesting. Uh, very fascinating, and uh, he's, he's a man, uh, I think, of the highest ethical uh, background, that's what I noticed about him, and uh, uh, in some ways he reminds me of Einstein, who was also in a different field of, 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 of uh, intellectual accomplishment, like physics and the sciences, but uh, Roy would be sort of the humanistic, humanist, uh, or humanist, or humanities, uh, uh, counterpart of Einstein, he, he, he addressed it unconventionally and, and so on. He's another man who's willing to challenge the status quo like David Suzuki and uh, Edward Wilson of, of America and so on. And uh, so he's a man that, that stands out and, uh, and of course it's wonderful that he, he lived for 75 years and we hope he, he, he stays around for the same time. So then I'll have to take for him then. I have no idea. Hi, my name is Erin Tisma, and I've known Roy for a while, and mostly I see Roy uh, coming and going from the Arts Project uh, opening receptions. Whenever we have a new artist in town, Roy's always there to greet them, and it's always great to see him at our receptions and saying hello to everyone. Happy birthday, Roy. Give me a tea, you, it's your idea. And I've known Roy <laughs> probably since the mid-70s. Not at all now, but I just started kind of meeting and seeing him in various places in the 70s when I was playing at the last quarter. I've been listening to BX93 and they make a song just virtually about everything. I didn't see him very occasionally at that point. It's interesting. Since I've lived in London for decades, I have a lot of really frequent recently because of the connection to my husband. It's become more frequent. So that's how I know Roy. You would know She's a fine actress. Jake is a musician, singer, songwriter. Yeah. I've known Roy since I used to play at the Don Corp in the 70s. And uh, I used to see him with Roy in the club and on the street. Always with his bags of books and whatnot. And uh, we struck up one of those relationships which I think are typical of Roy, where you're passing and you say hi to him. And then I found myself in his book, Living the London Journal, mentioned on, I think, the first page of the book, which was really exciting. But uh, Roy is a marvelous, new person. Roy, God bless you, you live for it. And how does it feel, Roy? Huh? How do you feel? Well, I used to celebrate my birthdays in the last book. And that's when they had the bunnies. And I like the bunnies. And... I was telling people that they're coming here. You know what they call a bunch of rabbits? A reseeding hairline. Oh. How do you how do you catch a wild rabbit? Yeah. How do you catch a tame rabbit? Same way. Same way. You need up on it. Yeah. My name is Richard Gilmore. I work at the Arts Project and uh, I've known Roy for several years. Uh, I don't know how long now. Uh, I'm a photographer in town and I remember when this market was the old market and uh, Roy was on a bench and I remember I was shooting uh, film, black and white film. So that's how long ago that was now. And uh, I got shot some pictures of Roy. I remember, uh, you know, wa wandering around here when it was the old market. So, and he's still here with the new market. So, uh, um, so basically, I just dropped in. I'm just on a uh, break from work, and I just wanted to drop in to wish Roy a happy 75th uh, birthday, and uh, wish him all the best, and wish him uh, many, many more years to come. My name is Jessica Robertson. How do I know Roy McDonald? How do I not know Roy McDonald? Roy McDonald has been everywhere in London. He's as much of an icon as London as the rhinoceros, a sculpture sitting in front of Museum London, and as City Hall, and as Victoria Park. Who doesn't know Roy? You know, I've known Roy ever since I was like a teenager there, and uh, 
we'd frequently see each other uh, on the streets there. You know, he gave me a copy of his book, Living in the London Journal. You know, I found that very uh, inspiring. You know, and I found we met Roy many times at uh, poetry readings uh, where authors or guests and so on. You know, and uh, he does quite a bit of writing himself. You know, and uh, I just hope he never stops. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say there. Hi, my name is uh, Bakma, and I'm a student at Western. And today happens to be Roy's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, Roy! All right. So, as instructed. Was I instructed? I don't know. But the point is, okay, so Roy and I go a long way back. We met about a year ago. Um, I was sitting at chapters studying, and then uh, he came in, and I had seen him around downtown before because, you know, who doesn't go downtown to hang out? Anyway, so, um, yes, yeah, so I'd seen him around, and I was sitting and I was studying, and he comes in. And I'm like, oh, I recognize this person. And generally, I'm a really friendly person, so I was always curious as to how come I see him around so often. And someone had once told me that maybe he's Richard Ivy, and there's this crazy rumor going around, right? So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go and ask him. So um, he sat down, and I was like, hi, and I introduced myself, and then we started talking and stuff, and it turned out he's not Richard Ivy. But um, uh, we talked about many other things. We talked for a good hour, and uh, and yeah. So then, ever since um, that day, whenever I run into him, we talk and stuff, and uh, I run into him all the time. So that's really really fun because I get really excited when I see him, and he has this glimmer in his eye, and he's always smiling, and uh, he's always trying to get the people around him to smile and stuff. And now, like when I whenever I see him downtown after like a long night or whether it's in the afternoon. We sing songs about his mom and uh, he introduces me to many people and it's lovely and I'm very, very happy to know him. Roy! Roy! Smile for the camera. Okay. Happy birthday, high five. Awesome. So yeah, that's a wrap. Stupid hairspray in your beard. That. Well, that's a great expectation. <laughs> Tell us when you're going to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Somebody, somebody yell, uh, what is the yell? Uh, action? This is August. Bonfire? I don't know whether that's a bonfire or a Roy fire. Listen, everybody, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, we're listening. Everybody listen. Okay. I, 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 just, I was going to take this over here. You know, listen. Jake. Everybody listen. Oh. It's I, I'm very, very grateful that I've lived in 75. Gratitude is the most important thing in my life. Gratitude and appreciation for my health, for my, my background, for my parents, for many, many things. But what I'm most grateful for is my friends. Having wonderful friends like yourself makes it all worthwhile and keeps me going and keeps me happy. Thank you, everybody. Yay! He can blow out both candles. Oh, I'm very grateful for you, Roy. Yes, thank you for being you, Roy. Oh, yeah. I think there should be a monument, a bronze statue of Roy uh, erected near um, uh, Jim Bob Ray's, Joe Cool's, uh, to commemorate this man's life for all of Four City eternity. So, happy 75th birthday, Roy. Much love, and I'll be seeing you on Richmond.